Okay, please excuse the mess behind me. I've been looking for something all day long. Anyway, um, so I've got this new rig set up with the microphone and uh, had to get a few mount adapters to get the light and the microphone to be on this U-shaped mount for the vlogging camera. So, and yeah, we'll go ahead and hook it up. It looks pretty cool. Looks kind of looks a little professional. Not bad. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up now. That'll show you guys before I did so though. So, here we go. Next clip, better audio, better lighting. Okay, so that's bright. <laughs> but yeah, I got quite the rig here. So, uh, and you can adjust the levels of the light too. So, but I have it set to blinding me. Uh, so let's go down this dark hallway and we'll just see exactly how it looks. I'm very excited to see how it looks on camera. So, but yeah, there you go. And now I have the microphone even with the Sony X3000. So, yeah. Anyway, what's up guys? It is Danny and I'm in the dark and the TV's on. So I'll go back this way. Um, <clears throat> been watching documentaries about a certain church <laughs> as in my last vlog I actually you know drove by their building got a couple books on it weak-minded people fall for cult uh, things and it's sad it really is sad but all you can do is sit back and hope that it dismantles itself who knows um, look at my setup nice looking setup indeed so, of course, with a bright light on it, you can't really see the RGBs, but I am so proud of the setup. I need a bigger desk, though. So, um, but I got a uh, another part-time job as a, an accountant for a private small business. So, that's cool. Um, yeah. Kicked it with Kayla yesterday. My first time ever having pho. Let me turn off this TV real quick. Grandpa's watching TV. Anyway. So, yeah. Pho is really good. For those of you who don't know what pho is, it is a... Um, um, kind of like a soup, I guess. Uh, Asian dish. Uh, it's got rice noodles in it. Uh, different kinds of herbs and spices. The cilantro is definitely in it, which is really good. Um, as well as other things and mine in particular was called wonton it didn't have wontons in it I know some people were like oh that's not pho well it, it was pho it had rice noodles it had wonton and egg stuff but it had chicken in it and dumplings and it was really good I couldn't tell if the chicken was in the dumplings or they were just dumplings with, that, with something else in them but it had bits of chicken ate the whole thing got the big bowl so it was like $11 which is not bad um, really affordable so I'm thinking about maybe getting it again this weekend because I liked it that much it really did so who knows but uh, yeah so I'm really liking this setup I hope it looks as good as it looks like looking at it so I hope it looks good to you guys and uh, hopefully the camera's not too sensitive because it seemed like it was just a little bit I think it's because I had it closer I had it really close to my face and now it's even on this U mount, should be just fine. So let's see if I can adjust the, I'm gonna adjust the brightness. See if that, see that, see how much dimmer it gets. See, now I'm not so blinded. I can see the camera a lot better. Uh, hopefully you can still see my face. So this is all just really a test clip, but I'm gonna include it in the vlog anyway. So my brother's birthday is on Friday. I keep asking him if he's gonna do something for his birthday, but he hasn't said anything yet. He said, well, he says he's not sure, so who knows? He's gonna be 28, he's two years younger than me. It's crazy that we're both this age already. I mean, life really comes fast to you sometimes. Um, so, but anyway, anyway, very interesting. Also, it's like almost four, no, it's after four in the morning and I get to cover up my bird. Sorry, B. is he awake? Yeah, I'll cover him up. Sorry about that. Sorry, Benz, I'll cover you up here in a second. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing laundry, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in the next clip. So, allow me to rant for just a minute. It's no secret that me and David are good friends and have been for over a decade. 
Um, I tend to go in his comment section when he posts a video just because I know it's going to be filled with, you know, it's going to be filled with a lot of support, but then there's going to be the bad players uh, in his videos. Uh, he, he announced on the latest vlog that he's going to move the vlogs to Fridays from Monday. Okay? I'm a patron, so I don't... That's not going to affect me. If you're a patron of David, you get him on Monday still. That's nothing's changing for us, but for the non-patrons, there's a lot of backlash. But there's also a lot of support. Like, there's, there's more support than there is backlash. The fact that people will complain about free content... It just absolutely amazes me. You know, you make one little change, you move the vlog. For people who get it for free, you move it from Monday to Friday, and everybody has a cow. You know, they were more supportive when they when he thought about moving it from Monday to Tuesday, but it's not a big enough incentive. He, the guy has to pay a mortgage. He has to fix up his house, okay? We all work to, to fix up our lives. Why, why do some people think David is exempt from that? I don't, I don't get it. You know, there's one guy out here who said that, you know, he, he's he's turning his channel into a paywall and he's used to get, just watching the videos for free. The whole point of this is to incentivize a measly $2 a month. I guess some people can't afford $2 a month. If you are that strapped for cash, $2 a month, what's that, a McDouble it's a, with tax, you know? If you can't afford $2 a month, then why do you have internet? Why do you have computers? Why do you have electricity? You know, if, if you are that strapped for $2 a month, I don't get that. And some people are, and that's fine, but I'm talking about the people who are complaining, you know. There are people who say, I can't afford this, David, but I do support it. Someday, maybe I will. That's fine. I'm not dissing y'all. I'm not really dissing anybody. But the people who are giving David the runaround, who are complaining because he's charging $2 a month for early access to the vlog, the weekend vlog. If cash is that tight, why do you have internet access? Because internet is not a utility, as much as I would love it to be. It's a luxury. You don't need the internet to survive. Yet. Um, I hate that I'm arguing that point, because I hate when the FCC uses it when they want to get rid of net neutrality. Not the point, I'm getting off topic. But at this day and age, the internet is not a utility. It is a luxury for the time being. So for you to complain that David's charging two dollars a month, a month, not a week, not a day, two dollars a month, is a little beyond me. And there's a particular person that we all thought they were, you know, David considered this person a friend, and she's anything but judging by her three-hour session I had last night. You really think you know your friends, and, and, and they, they surprise you sometimes. Your friends, and they're... So I hope David can move past that. I think he will. He's a pretty strong dude. Um, we, me and him, have got, we've had battles in the past. So if he can tolerate me, which is not always easy to do, then he can get past this fake friend. So anyway, that's my two cents. I just don't understand. I don't understand people. I don't understand why they give him the grief they he does. You know, it's like every move he makes, somebody has to say something. Earlier, there's another another comment that said, "David, why do you use plastic bottles? That's horrible for the environment. You need to use Brita off the out of the tap." You know, first of all, purified water is okay. Water from a spring is way better. Fiji, that's what I drink. David drinks. Uh, I forget what he drinks. I drink Ozarka, I drink Fiji. Ozarka's Midwest, it's in Texas. Fiji's in, obviously, Fiji. Is it bad for the environment? Yeah, it's not good. You know, I know there's a plastic island in the ocean somewhere. Pacific, I think. However, I have a Brita filter thing, and even with that, it still tastes like government-issued water. It does. It's just without the cancer, I guess. Don't tell us how to live our lives. At least we're drinking water. You know, I could be just sitting here drinking soda all the time, and I don't. I used to, but I don't anymore. And that's why people have saying, hey, Danny, you look slimmer. Yeah, it's because I've cut back on pop and sugar. And I'm going to continue to do so, because I, if you don't know this already, I'm pretty sure I'm type 2 diabetic just by the symptoms I have. 
that's another video for another day but uh and i'm trying to eat better but obviously we got snacks over there so you know something about hostess cupcakes the chocolate ones with the white sorrel on top that's my weakness or is my weakness cheese balls are my weakness we got a tub of them over there don't judge me i'm getting so off topic the point is and this 1080 ti is running hot it's gonna watch in 4k video it's hot in this room anyway point of this video is it's two hours a month please try to understand that not everybody likes to work for free in fact i don't know one person on this earth that likes to work for free i don't work for free you think i do this for free no i get to check from youtube every month for now they've been demonetizing videos lately though and channels so should that happen to me i just want to give you guys a heads up if youtube for some reason deems my channel not monetizable anymore just know i'm starting up my patreon again you know but until then i'm not gonna worry about that but i'll make a video when the day comes because creators no longer can make money sustainably on youtube just because of how pc they're trying to be with everything it's just it's ridiculous i missed 2015 youtube so bad another rant for another day the point is cut the guys some slack dave's just trying to make money you know and if you don't support the dollar thing then don't wait till friday you know it's not you're not getting it at all you're just getting it later i saw a comment that said oh but by the time i get seen on friday he's already making next week's vlog filming the same day so what do you get to see a new movie that comes out the day they start filming it no you don't <laughs> people man video that's all right all right all right all right yeah 20 minutes bro i feel like, I'm, I feel like a news crew with all these <laughs> with these lights like that i'm just testing it out i don't even know what it looks like yet and then you hook it to your computer, is that how you see it? Does it yeah. have a little screen where you can replay it back on there? No screen on this one. Nick's is, Nick has a screen, the one I just gave him. It's touch screen too, so. And uh, I, I've, it's got the uh, waterproof door so you can put it underwater if you want. The whole setup? The whole, yeah. Or mine? No, yours, not mine. Oh, I was like, you put the whole, what? This, yeah. this goes underwater too, with just this. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. No, not the whole thing. Yeah, whenever I get racing again. And uh, you'll you'll need to get one of these light boxes. They're only like 15 bucks on Amazon. The, that's US 36. I want to go there. Not I like. I want. I, make, make me a burnt one. I want. Well, the hell is a burnt. So. Low setting definitely doesn't blind you. <laughs> so it's yeah. a lot. You see my new hat. Miami Heat is, is the old Miami Vice colors. Did you? Hey. You playing a game? You playing a game? Try. You play the game, doggy. <laughs> is it the what? Is it too bright? You camera shy? He's camera shy. I think he's camera shy. I can do something. He said, make him, <laughs> make him do the thing. <laughs> <Spins around. laughs> or that. <laughs> so fast. Sorry, bro. Do you see how yeah. King is putting on a show for the camera? Right. Like, he's like, running. Yeah, dude. He's like, he wanted to like be like. <laughs> right. You guys be safe, okay? You too. Hi, King. <laughs> Just took off. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, there's still a pepper left. I'm eating it. 
Nick, you heard that? All right, come this way. There's one paper left, Nick. No. It's mine. <laughs> she claimed it. You're gonna drop it. Oh, that's so cool. Look how tall it is. It's really tall. It's a thick ass cake. Look. Should we do it? Like I do. Every time do I watch you? videos, I, I see, uh, that's what I see. Right here? Not in the tire. It's cool though. Like okay, give me a lighter. Oh, let me look at my phone. Let me take a picture. That's so cool. Is that a Chevy wheel? No, it's a, it's a Dayton. Oh, it's a Dayton. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Nice. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. It's <laughs> so weird. Uh, I bet it can see me. I bet I look goofy. Dude, uh, I can't wait to see the footage. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look All right, well, that does it. That about does it for today's or this vlog. Uh, kind of all over the place. The next couple of weeks are going to be a little difficult uh, this time of year, at least for the first year. Um, it's a little difficult. This time last year, I was with somebody I thought that would never hurt me. Uh, it ended up hurting me more than anybody ever could in terms of being in a relationship. So um, that person is forever changed. Um, so I'm going to try to like continue vlogging and not think about it as much as I can just because I thought I was happy this time last year and it was all facade and you guys know the story already. So, um, the reason I bring this up is just, is just because, you know, some days are better than others. And some days I get not that I get sad. I get more disgusted at her and angry. I'm still angry at her. Like I hate her to death. I really do. Um, which I never thought I could, um, but you know, you push somebody to the edge, or over the edge in this case, and uh, I guess anything's possible. So, uh, that being said, uh, Billy Joel is an artist that she loves, but she hates his song Big Shot, and it was just on. And I realized that that's my favorite song of Billy Joel. So, for her to hate it, I don't know, it's kind of satisfying that she hates something that I love, I guess, um, even though she likes the artist. Anyway, whatever. It's not the point. Point is, thanks for watching the vlog. I'll see you on the next video. I've already said it like four times. And uh, yeah, until then, peace.